standing waves. Standing waves are a result of fence between two traveling waves of same frequency traveling in opposite direction. Standing wave, as you can see, doesn't move further. It is stationary and keeps oscillating in the same place. The standing wave is made of two parts, node, which is the part of minimum displacement, and antinode, which is the part of maximum displacement. Let's observe this example. String, as the violin string is produced, it travels further and hits the boundary. When it reaches the boundary, the reflected wave comes out 180 degree out of phase in comparison to the incoming wave. When these two traveling waves moving in opposite direction interfere with each other, they interfere constructively to produce antinodes and they interfere destructively to produce nodes. Let's see this animation and try to understand. When an external force or a wave is applied to a system, as you can see here, if the frequency of the force applied matches with the natural frequency of the system, the system starts oscillating with a very high amplitude. This heightened response is due to the constructive interference between the incoming and the reflected wave. This amplifies the standing wave's energy and the concept here is resonance. Harmonics. Harmonics are multiples of fundamental frequency in a wave or vibration. In the context of standing wave, the smallest frequency is called as the fundamental frequency. Every other higher frequency is an integer multiple of this fundamental frequency and they are called as the harmonics. Look at the daily example. A plucked guitar string is a simple example of a standing wave. A plucked guitar string emits a particular sound of a particular frequency depending on the string length and how taut or dense the string is. Each string can make only a certain note because only a certain standing wave is able to be formed in that string. 